To all my friends, I'm doing fine. Danger's always on my mind. Candidates, no one to trust. Kinda think that this is a bust. I wanna have magic. I wanna fly up to the sun. Pack your bags, see who won. Everyone that gets in my way. Hashtag magic all day. I wanna have magic. I wanna have, I wanna have, I wanna have magic. I wanna have, I wanna have, I wanna have magic. Trial number 12, the final trial, the trial of literacy. Not only will the combatants have to write their own speeches about why they should be the grand high time wizard, but they will have to present it to their peers, expressing why they should be and answering any questions that may be asked of them. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. This one really tests your skills as a public speaker and makes you understand the importance of this role. But who will come on top and who will present themselves with such suave and, and, and charisma and, and a true, true talent of speaking? Oh, you're screwed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I am screwed. Yeah, you're, you're very much dragged. <laughs> They're all gonna vote you out now. Oh, great. Nah. Oh, wait, what, what is that they got caught there? Hey. Hmm? Oh. I don't got nothing caught. No, it's you, can, you can't you see looking. it? No? Oh, it's creepy. Oh. Wait, what is it? It's like a, it's like, it's like a statue, except it, it it's, it's like crying and stuff. <laughs> you can't see it. Are you talking about the, the no, thing in the boat! Don't... You can't see the thing in the boat. No, I can't see the. I can't see the thing in the boat. Oh my god, it's so. It looks like the thing from Doctor Who. It's creepy. <laughs> I can't see nothing. You, you, oh, you, you must be blind. I'm blind. Yeah. yeah uh, you're, you're uh, just, maybe, you're just blind. maybe my mask is not uh, masking. Maybe you're. Well. Maybe because you were staring directly at it when you walked in and it, it blinded you. I don't know, but it it was right there. It's, oh. It's, it's 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 literally just right here. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see nothing. Oh well, I don't know what to tell you. Huh. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah, I wouldn't go too it. close to it though. I think it hit, hits you. You teleport away. Why isn't it attacking you? <laughs> it's looking at me. <laughs> oh, maybe because it's directed onto me. What if, oh. I get, oh, what if I got in the boat? Just sail away with it. <laughs> Rehin, re Rehin. Yes. I lied. There's nothing in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I pranked you. Oh wow! How dare you? <laughs> There's staircases made out of wither heads. <laughs> oh god! So many withers. Why? Why? What are they going to do? I don't know. Atari's. What is Val doing? She's she's staring intently at the floor. There must be something oh, yes. there. There must be some mold or something. Ah! It spoke. Oh. <laughs> What do you mean it? <laughs> <laughs> duck. This is a duck. This is a duck of AFK. Duck. This is a duck. This is a duck of AFK. Yeah, th th this was this was there before I joined House of Fire. This has been here a while. I I I, yeah. don't, I don't check the House of Fire very often. You know, being that I'm not in House of Fire. I'm also not in House of Fire. This is supposed to be Charles' area, but she never really got on, and the staircase mm -hmm. with her skeleton skulls are yeah, still Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I was like, holy... Creepy. Creepy. Yeah. I guess it's a good idea for you... I feel like there's six of them. Is there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there's something in the boat. I know, Don't. right? <laughs> Do not. Do not. I will go cry. I was there the whole time. I was there the whole time. I was there the whole corner. Up. All right. All right, all right Val, do you know, do you know what the, the monster I was talking about, too? The weeping angel? The, the, 
one from Doctor Who. Weeping angel. That they, yeah. The, 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 like, yeah, the, the, the weeping angel. Yeah, the one if you look at it, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. If it touches you, you get teleported to a random time. Oh. But uh, th this, it, 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 in here, if it touches you, you get teleported to a random place. It's crazy. Oh, yay. Yeah. Every, everyone's then, ready for their speeches? Uh, yeah. Not really. At, the, at this moment, I kind of wish the doctor didn't take me off the chopping block so I could be voted out and I wouldn't have to do a speech. J just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, that'd be awesome. Well, it's between you, <laughs> Pix, and, uh, 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 and Val. So, I mean, uh, one of you isn't going to have to do a speech. Yeah, true. Yeah, I have my speech prepared. I'm pretty sure. I think it's okay. Oh. Well, I, Hello, Thomas. I mean, uh, you could ask the wizard, and I oh sure. My I'm sure you. Oh, you know wait, armor. Oh, yeah, run into the rain. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say, I'm sure the wizard will let the person who gets eliminated do their speech anyway, just because they got to, you know, they wrote it, and it's a bit too late at this point. <laughs> yeah. It feels a bit unfair, if otherwise. And then he comes back. I will. Uh, the doctor had to the send in his. Is the doctor's sick, so he had to send in his speech. Uh, uh, like he had to pre-record it, so the wizards already watched his speech. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Right, well, you you will one day when the episodes come out. Where is the Enderman? Ah. I'm so confused. He 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 ran away. <laughs> I just realized I can I fly up. I I could though. fly up straight into the. Uh, up. See. Like, I can see him on the mini map. Maybe he's underneath. He's following me on the mini map. There's a Maybe. there's an entire section underneath here. Also, are these like curses? Are you currently being cursed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's down here. One, two. Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know what happened here. Everyone's just cursing the people way, these I, days. I absolutely cannot get back up. So um. Uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wizard? Ah! Oh, 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 you're all still here! Yeah, di di didn't you guys go home? Wait, this is a different chair. These are different pants. They don't have pee in them. Yeah. What? Weird. Anywho, uh, it's good to see you all again. Uh, all your, uh, all the eliminated and non-eliminated battens. Uh, but we're here for public speaking. Uh, the final trial! Oh, I'm so excited. I, 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 the, the one more elimination before we get to the top three. Oh, it's so exciting. Uh, but you will be giving speeches uh, to tell me why you should become the Grand High Time Wizard! Oh, oh dear. Uh, uh, wizard, yeah. okay. <laughs> Time yeah, Wizard! Yes. Uh, D -d 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 yes, I, I didn't fall asleep. No, no, I, I was oh. never asleep. He was resting his never. eyes. Never. Uh, anywho, uh, you'll be giving speeches, and after the speeches are done, people will be able to ask questions. Uh, questions about, you know, why they should be the wizard, or how their moral compass will lie, you know. W w how will it point? You g get it? Because uh, a, a compass nah. point. <laughs> oh, 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 it's so good. I, uh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Anywho, uh, there will be three speeches because unfortunately the doctor is away and sick. He has, uh, he has presented a speech to me beforehand and it has been judged. And we will have one eliminated contestant who made it in the top five. Val will also be presenting this speech. Just because they're dedicated, you know, they're, 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 they're just, I, I'm going to give them a good reference, you know, to their next job, Star. next position, yes. Uh, but first of all, any volunteers? Um, I guess I could go first. Of course. Always the priest. The goddamn pathetic priest. Why? Why is he still here? Why, why didn't one of you eliminate him yet? He needs to go. He's a child. Fine. Let the child speak, I suppose. Yeah. Huh. Ah, yay. <laughs> I, I guess I'll do my, my speech now. Huh. <clears throat> wow. Uh, wow, there's so many of you. Uh, so many bright, 
Shining faces. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, and hello to everyone. Hello, people. Why should I become the Grand High Wizard? Oh, well, you know, it's it's a very, very ex distinguished... Extinguished? No, distinguished. Distinguished position that uh, everyone knows about. And it, it, it's coveted with power, knowledge, and, and magic. And I believe that the only person who can fully, fully understand that position is a friendly. I mean, friendlies have had the position for millennia. Uh, before, before time even began, a friendly has been the wizard. And to disrupt that, I, I don't know how it would go, you know. Uh, fr friendlies are born to be in these positions. And I, I feel like some of them are just so insane that uh, it's perfect for them, you know? Uh, they have to be respectful, confident, uh, understanding. They have to have uh, a pure understanding in, in, of the, what the position entails and be willing to die. And I feel like all friendlies really know how to die. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Oh, sorry. What was that? Nothing. Uh -huh. Why should a friendly keep the heritage going? Oh, well, I mean, in saying that, would you want to risk your life? I mean, friendlies are born to be in these positions. Friendlies are born to die. Friendlies are born to serve and protect time. And then, well, we die. So, w would you rather be the one that serves, protects, than dies? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, well, you'll say that in your speech. However, I feel like friendlies were born to do so. And not really any other breeds. So, you know, there's, there's that. Any other questions? Are we 100% sure that, like, there are no other breeds that are, like, capable of... You know, well, I didn't say no one else is this? capable of being oh. in the position. I just said we're fully suited for the position. Literally born to do this. And um, as much as we may not want to do it, and sometimes the Brotherhood tells us that we have to because it's the only way we'll prove the, uh, ourselves to the Brotherhood. It's the only way we can communicate with the light and the light speaks through us. I mean, other than that, it's, uh, you know, friendly are born to do this. So we have to. Because we want to, of <laughs> course. Understandably so. Uh any more questions? Uh, one more, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what will you do as soon as you become the wizard? Like, what's the first thing that you're planning on doing or thinking about doing? Oh, well, uh, because I'll have the power of time, I feel like there's a certain dictator that we, uh, we, we, we don't talk about very often anymore. He, uh, he enjoys the, uh, the, the visual appeal of blonde hair and blue eyes. I think that we can go back in time and smother him before he does anything stupid. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, and, and the corruption, because, you know, uh, Exhibit A is behind us. Uh, I, I feel like that could be dealt with, too. Yeah, that that as well. Yeah. Any more questions? Okay. No. Cool. I, I'm done. I don't have to speak anymore. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can I please get another person up to the stage? Uh, we hidden or picks? We hidden or picks? Who go picks? Okay. If you could please okay. set up on one of these chairs. Yay, 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 yay. One question before you start. How are you alive? I don't know. <laughs> All right, you may start your speech. Trains. Magic trains. Uh, what? Uh, pardon? But what, magic what about trains. The magic trains? Magic trains. Why, why do you believe that you should be the next wizard? Trains. Uh, I think he likes uh, magical trains. Um, drive one or I, I believe there's going to be a lot of questions. Let's yeah, throw it over to this uh, to the public. Who uh, who would like to ask the question first? I'll ask mine last. Why do you love trains? Oh. Trains. Okay. okay. I have a question. Uh, Where will the trains go? In the sky. Okay. Oh. How, how the would fly. they? How will they be in the sky? They fly. How? Magic. That, he's, he's kind of got a point there. I mean, he's going to be a wizard. That is very he does have... So, so one question, one question. Um, with, with everything that's going on, you know, war, famine, plagues, trains is the most important thing to you? Uh, it'll cure the corruption. Wow. That, that's an interesting... How, how but the war and famine? How is that going to work? It'll, it'll give food. It'll give food? Yeah, yeah. There, there'll be like people on it giving people food. I don't know if I want train food. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I want food. Um, I mean, you know, it could be magical chain food. Maybe it could be like anything you want it to be. I don't know about that. It's magical chain food. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know if I want magical chain food now. Big. Yeah, I'll travel big time. Um, so you're uh, sometimes. So you're world hunger. Oh. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh. I think what he's saying is just yep. trains. I think we're just saying everything else for him. <laughs> I think we're just. Oh, I think it's no. just trains. <laughs> just trains. I mean, he's straight to the point, so. I mean, okay. At least he got to the point, and at least he's open about <laughs> I, it. I, I have another question for you. Yeah. Are you planning on doing anything for the corruption or for the people and all the, you know, the dangers yeah. going through? Yeah. The, the trains will uh, uh, help cure the corruption. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I, okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> I am too. It's okay. It might just be a him thought. If we smile and clap, maybe he'll. I don't know. Go away. Maybe. Oh. Let's just smile okay. And clap. Let's uh, let's all smile and clap. Yay! Yay! Good job. Yay! Get off the stage. Yay! Yay! Oh, and look at him. He's so happy, like a child. <laughs> I think it worked. All right, Rehin, if you'd like to sit up, uh, sorry, stand up oh. on the stage, uh, sit, uh, sit up there and uh, tell us your speech. Oh, everyone's choosing the, that chair. Okay, you can sit in the other one. Hi! I believe, yeah, yeah, hi. I... Aviva, 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 Aviva. Oh, no. I believe that I should I have the fantastical pleasure of becoming the wizard. Um, I know most of us uh, have this want and want the same, whether for the power, wisdom, change, answers. All are valid. All, all are valid points. Um, personally, I'm here for words. Uh, <laughs> I'm here for respect. Yeah. Uh, and I. Honestly, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna win, but it, it's the thought that counts, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But are we going into the, to the question section? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, anyone have any questions? I have two questions. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, my first question is, um, let's say that you're traveling through time with like a group of people, right? Like similar to us, technically, mm -hmm. and you see one of the people gets hurt. What? Are you planning to do for that person? Are you planning to do anything for them at all? Well, yes, I'd um, like make a barrier uh, between the danger and them first, and then try to help them as best as as I can. Okay. But more importantly, are you going to call them interns? It's very important that you call them interns. Yes, yes, I, I, yes. It makes it easier when they yeah. die. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have okay. my second question is: yeah. Do you think a wizard should be a full-on leader or a full or a semi-follower, depending on the situation? Uh, I believe that uh, depending on the situation, uh, they could be a leader or a follower, uh, mm -hmm. depending if they want to side with others or uh, like they're going into war or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Uh, um, I have a question. Uh, yep. So everyone knows you as the friendly, kind, sweet person. Um, you're going to have a lot of tough decisions as the wizard. Some people are going to die. You're going to have to defeat tough things. How are you going to, you know, get to that point? Because we don't really know you as a, a tough person. Well, I'll, I'll try to help out as best I can. Uh, if there is a hard decision I have to make, I will take that chance but how road uh, how are there. you going to push yourself to be you know sometimes you're going to have to make the really hard decisions maybe leaving people behind or such yeah well, you might have to make that choice all on your own too you can't really depend on the people who you're who are your interns because they don't know as much as you will right yeah 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 point um i this child is uh, anyway um i i'd try my, my best to do those decisions, make those decisions on my own. Uh, sure, most of the time they probably wouldn't work out, but at, at least I try. Okay. Any, any, yeah. more, any more questions? All right. Yeah, uh, just one more. Question. Oh, we'll yeah. go, 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 go yeah. pigs first. Pigs. Uh -huh. What will you do about the, the lack of uh, magical trains? 
Oh god. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm, I'll make one just for you. Uh, Preach. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I want to jump on one of the uh, Aviva's questions of what would you do in in time and history? What would you change first? Mm -hmm. Uh, probably uh help like make an orphanage that actually provides good uh like good health care and what for all the interns that died children oh, for the children oh sorry for the children and, of the yeah. interns that died uh, yeah mm. so many so many children yeah <laughs> oh god well well thank you for your time if you would like to go sit down please Hello everyone. As you can see, I am not there live for these speeches, and I am so deeply sorry to tell you that I have gotten to go see my parents and tell them that I am in the finale. I know, I know, this isn't the finale yet, and I'm not officially in, but I have a reason. And I'm going to share some reasons, some good, and why I should be in the finale. It's very simple. The first is I'm going to go over each of these, because I have gone through and I have kicked... But, and let me tell you why. The very first one, musical chairs. I was in the top. I gave up number two to Pix, because Pix had very good runs there for the first couple. I gave up mine to Mevin. I was thinking as a team then, not for solos, because, you know, it was early on. The second one was the tournament slash team PvP, whatever you really want to call it. I don't know what the wizard called it. It's the wizard. But the reason I am, should be in the finals with talking about this is because that I was the one that pulled our team together once it was me and Celeste and I ultimately made the decision to let Celeste go on to eventually be in the final with Mevin with Mevin winning so yes the third one trivia I yeah I wasn't there I, I was stuck studying I, I I forgot the time of it well anyway moving on the hide and seek if it wasn't for Val hiding much better what I was seeking. I think I could have won that. It was just because Val's one time when I was seeking. Other than that, I crushed the hide and seek. On to the nether bingo. The nether bingo, the reason I lost it, me and Celeste crushed that being in the nether. We lost it because the one time Mason shows his face and Mevin decides to play those spinny things with the item frames. I mean, they must have thought it was Beyblades. I mean, I don't know. And on to the next, the treasure hunt. I wanted to point this out so badly at the time. Aviva, if you are there watching this in person, I just want you to know you can blame Celeste for your downfall. I only had like eight chickens, and I convinced Celeste to give me all of theirs, which led me into winning. So I'm just going to say that now. Start drama when I'm not even there. So the next was the solo PvP, which once again, I've always learned that to get the number one victory royale, you have to be a good third party. The third parties always win, always get the number one spot. So I did. I got the number one spot with the solo PvP. And then after that, we turned actually just playing solo, which I have to tell you, the fashion show, yeah, might have not have been number one. Okay, the next one was I'm Not the Drama, which, if it wasn't for picks, not in escaping nominations, which no, f which I'll talk about later, the reason why I think picks escape with no nominations. Without, if I didn't get the one, I could have won that too. I wasn't as much as the drama as some of the other people there. They were very much the drama. Next, the deduction. If I decided that second round to play the Jester role that I was given, instead of getting Raheem out for their little mistake as being the one to go, I probably would have beat Finn. I mean, I just like, it, it just happened the moment I didn't think about being the Jester. I just wanted the funny moment, which ended up costing me. And lastly, the talent show. I mean, I, I lost to freaking dad jokes. I, I made bombs and I lost to dad jokes. Dad, dad jokes, yeah. But anyway, from what I've learned, that that is the positive side. That is just my doing. Now I'm going to do the normal, good old way of bashing the competition to tell you why I should be it because they shouldn't. I want to start with Finn. Finn, we were good as a team together, but we're at the point where I'm aiming for the finale. 
And for the finale, I have to do this. We have to point out the obvious. The wizard hates you. If you make the finale, I swear, I bet you, the wizard is just gonna be like, nope, we're done, not retiring, you all leave. So please, the jury, please think about that if you decide you want to vote Finn. Next up, I'll talk about Raheem. Raheem, you, you've you been nice to a lot of people, and especially me. I mean, you did die at some points, and I did help you, so I want you to remember that. That That's another reason why I should be there, is because I've helped you when you died. But lastly, you also decided to team with everyone, so I think that's... But you did it better than what Aviva and Celeste did by teaming with everyone, by actually, you know not try to backstab everyone in a way or actually you know was smart with it but you know when it comes when i talked about me kicking butt in all these competitions i i happen to notice that when it comes to this stuff you're not the greatest at it i mean just take the rankings for example i have 88 points as this talking you're at 48 that's a whole 40 point difference so while, yes, you were, I think you're probably, other than Finn, probably were there for every single trial, you did not do well enough to possibly make this finale. But, as I've learned, that is not my choice. As of right now, it will be the juries. Uh, next up is Picks. Picks, I'm going to keep this kind of kind of short. Uh, here recently, I've been hearing the wizard kind of, I don't know if it's sleep talking or what. He's, I've heard him talk about some time and space being torn apart if you win this i i don't know why he, i think he might just be sleeping sleep you know like a nightmare i don't know it's the wizard and lastly we got val val uh, i i i don't know how to put this but i i'm sure you've known you're probably were part of the least liked household i mean first you were ice and then now you're fire and ice don't those kind of counteract so technically you should be water i mean i i guess i i thought i figured that out reading through the books but anyway uh val i'm sure i'm sure you've you know, have your reasonings that you know sadly i can't hear but yeah i i'm sorry but i don't think that you should be in the finals over me just because i mean honestly because you're on the fire team and i'm sorry to the rest of you but it's true so with that, I just, I'm going to wrap this up by saying, hey, if you don't put me into this finale, you are just admitting to what I have said, that you have lost to a person whose first name is Doctor, who isn't actually a jock doctor, and you're going to say, hey, this person's first name is Doctor, and he kicked my ass in this competition, but I was too afraid to admit it and put him in the finale. Thank you, and good night. And then, Valerie, would you like to come up here, uh, honorary? Since the wheel said yes, then why not, I guess? Yes, well, why, why not? Alright, the o only reason I am doing this speech is because, uh, for fun. And also, a uh, wheel said yes, so... Oh, the wheel of misfortune does love to make misfortune, doesn't it? Yes, yes, I don't think it's kind of misfortune, though I had this prepared. But, okay. Don't mind this being as if I will win, or because I prepared this beforehand, but alright. So, being the next head time, head time wizard isn't just about power, it's about like guarding time itself. Basically means respecting the past, living in present, and influencing the future. It's a big responsibility that I am going to be committed to. I, I, don't, I didn't compete for the title on, in this tournament, but I, want, I, didn't want to, I didn't want power to fall into the wrong hands. But looking at the comp like looking at the people here now, I don't think it's going to. So I wanted to say time is precious and tampering with, with well time is going to risk destroying the fabric of reality and existence. So we need someone with responsibility and also they have to be tough to protect people from danger from the from time, I guess. From any like uh, just danger and from any bad things that happen. Well, I mean, you guys have to also offer teamwork. There's no head time wizard without anyone to lead. And, well, winning this won't be easy and it shouldn't be. 
So if you guys if you guys get chosen, I hope you guys do be a good role model and don't let power fall into the wrong hands. That's that's all. But thank you, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for your time and uh, our extra little speech. You can go sit down. You can go sit down. Now, now, it's time to decide which of the speeches was the best. Hmm. Oh, yes. Let me, let me look at the books. It's okay. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't particularly like train. Aww. No, 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 no. The priest is pretty pathetic. And, uh, well, the doctor's speech was pretty self-righteous. All right, all right. I suppose the win goes to Rehin. Congratulations, Rehin, from your speech. I feel that you uh, were the best at uh, understanding who you are and what you bring to the table. That unfortunately does mean that everybody else is it for elimination. The Doctor, Finn, and Pix. And, and unfortunately, the only people who'll be voting is the three that are here, which is Finn, Pix, and Rehin. I'm glad it's an odd number. You will have to decide which one will be eliminated. And then the top three will go into the jury vote. We will have lots more questions. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. I'll meet you at my tower where I'll expect your votes. For the rest of you, you may go over to the jury area. It's just next door. It's so nicely made up and everything. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. I'll see you all very soon. Well, it seems that the winner, on technicalities, I suppose, is Rehin. He didn't speak about narcissistic things, he didn't talk about the friendlies, and he didn't simply just say train. Which means he is the winner, placing the other contestants into the bottom. That does mean the doctor, Rih that does mean the doctor, Pix, and Finn are all up for elimination. Who will be voted for? Guess we're going to find out next time. I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what game they're going to play and what alliance is going to be broken.